Will silver and gold make you rich? Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching Yankee Stacking. Will silver and gold make you rich? Hmm. What does it mean to be rich? Well, I looked it up at dictionary.com. Rich means having wealth or great possessions, abundantly supplied with resources, means, or funds. Wealthy. Well, that sounds straightforward enough, right? <laughs> But sometimes the fact of being rich can be confused with the feeling of being rich. What do I mean by that? Well, sometimes people feel rich when they travel and spend a vacation in some beautiful location. Sometimes people feel rich when they spend their paycheck on a night out on the town or at a restaurant or on nice clothing. Well, a lot of those things are kind of difficult to do right now, aren't they? Sometimes people feel rich when they look at their assets, like their house or their car, an ATV, Wave Runner, some of their toys. Many people feel rich when they look at their 401k or IRA statement. And maybe, <laughs> maybe as a stacker, you feel rich when you look at your growing stack of precious metals. Point is, it's about feeling rich. I feel rich. However, the, the feeling may not match reality. But feelings are what our U.S. economy, check that, our global economy is built on the need for the feeling of wealth. See, that feeling drives behaviors. Most importantly, the behavior of spending. So let's, let's bring it out of the abstract and into the concrete. Let's, let's look at last year, 2019. 2019 was a dramatic year in several ways. Business investment had declined sharply. We had a trade war with China. There was a global economic slowdown. That was the backdrop last year. So where did our economy get its mojo, you might ask? Well, where it always gets its mojo now. The U.S. household. You. Me. Consumer spending. Or to maybe use a more technical economic term, consumption. You see, consumption is usually two-thirds of our economy, 66%. That's how it's been for many, many decades. It wasn't always that way. Okay, Back when I was born, back in uh, 1966, when a half dollar was 40% silver, consumption was a much smaller piece of the U.S. economy. I mean, people were savers first, consumers second. A penny saved was a penny earned. You know, credit cards hadn't exploded on the scene yet. But fast forward to last year. In 2019, consumption wasn't 66% of the economy. It was 90% of the economy. The Fed injected liquidity and stifled interest rates. They did everything they could to make us feel wealthy. You know, your, your, your 401k looked look great. Dividends were being paid. And everything was awesome since the Great Recession, right? Yeah, that made everybody want to spend and spend and spend and spend. 90% of U.S. GDP was you and I spending. And that's exactly what our nation wants us to do right now. It No, it needs us to do it right now. If, if you take your stimulus check and save it, or, or maybe uh, reduce your, your, your debt, 
our economy is destroyed. You know, the irony is that with this much money printing going on right now, if we do spend it, this time inflation will soar and our dollar will be destroyed. Now, I want to be careful here. You know, I, I put this gold and silver out and as I was doing it, it, it kind of it, it kind of struck me. Um, most Americans uh, don't don't have uh, gold and silver. They don't have large uh, investment portfolio. There is a wealth gap and it's growing bigger and bigger and bigger. And, and let me be clear, this is not the fault of capitalism and of free markets. Absolutely not. This is the fault of government and central banks and their intervention in the real economy. The gap, if you will, between the haves and the have-nots has been exacerbated by cheap money, low interest rates kept low for a long, long time, as well as corporate stock buybacks, you know, making the, the markets reach all-time highs. Those dangerous activities made the haves feel rich. And they spent at a fever pitch last year. But those mired in debt, especially the millennials, they didn't feel rich at all. And now, we are embroiled in a crisis that threatens to become a calamity, people. And to fix the disaster in the making, we're going to redistribute the wealth. So, what do I mean by that? If, if you're lower class, you're going to get your uh, socialism wage from the government pretty soon. It may, be, it may be far cheaper for you to stay home than to go to work, even if you could find a job. It's happening right now. I've seen it firsthand with temporary help where I work. Now, if you're extremely wealthy, say the one percenters, I'm going to be blunt here. You, you, you've you, already went into cash. You got out of the markets. That's what smart money did months and months ago. But the middle class, this is going to screw us. And I believe this is going to foment class warfare like we have never seen before. And maybe, maybe even, you know, civil unrest. I don't know. Let, let's not forget, also, this is an election year, folks. So imagine Joe, middle class, finds himself without a job. Stagflation kicks in later this year. He can't make his mortgage payments this fall. And the waiter next door, who lost his job, is making more money on the couch than he did when he was waiting tables. Guys, this is is a big, big problem. All right, so let me get back to silver. Can silver and gold make you rich? Well, not according to the media and financial advisors. Oh, no, we've been told to keep our money in the stock market. No matter what, don't sell, absolutely not. It's going up. To that I say, really? Hmm. Price means nothing, people. Whether it be the price of a car or the price of the uh, S&P 500 in U.S. dollars, it means nothing. It's your purchasing power that really matters. And to drive this point home, take a look at this stock market chart. Wow, huh? <laughs> Any equities investor would love to get on this action, right? Yeah, it looks impressive. Well, this is a chart of the Caracas Stock Exchange in Venezuela. It's a market priced in their currency, the Venezuelan Boulevard. And if you're invested in this, you would not be rich. Your wealth would have evaporated as Venezuela spiraled down into hyperinflation. Again, I'm going to say it. Price in dollars means nothing. Value 
is everything. So what about precious metals? Can silver and gold make you rich? Sure it can, nominally. <laughs> I'll give you an example. This coin, the American Gold Eagle, one ounce. This coin may be worth $1,700 right now. Am I rich to have 20 of them? Well, if it takes $1,700 to buy a meal for my entire family, well, I got 20 meals. <laughs> How rich is that? But actually, to be quite frank with you, <laughs> it's more apt to happen to this, a $100 bill, than it would a tube of 20 American Silver Eagles worth about $400. <laughs> yes, I think silver could make you nominally rich, nominally wealthy, but don't count on that. Don't look to precious metals as a way to make you rich beyond your wildest dreams, wealthy. You could buy anything you want. No, look to it to keep, to preserve your existing wealth. If the dollar plummets and you have precious metals, your purchasing power is what you'll be saving. So, last point. Be wealthy, be rich in ways that really, really matter. I hope in the challenging times we're living in, these points that I'm going to make will really resonate with you like never before. You are rich if you have a loving family. You are rich if you have your health you are rich if you have friends you can trust and rely on. And you are ultimately rich if you know the God who sacrificed everything to show you his love and make you right with him. <laughs> yes, that's right. I am videoing this on Easter 2020. I have my family with me. I have my health so far. <laughs> and I have many of you, my subscribers, my, my commenters, my friends. But most of all, I have the assurance of faith that comes from knowing Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. I am rich, not because of any of this stuff, because of where it really counts. I leave you with these words from Jesus in Revelation 3.18. So I advise you to buy gold from me, gold that has been purified by fire. Then you will be rich. Thanks for watching. I hope your day is a-okay.